Hey, Internet Sarge here. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning into the show today. Now, today's episode, I'm talking about one of my most fun, unfun ways to hit credit card minimum spends, and that is through home repair. So we'll go through some of my examples, uh, some things that I've learned, and some best practices you can keep in mind as you try to keep your house in one piece. So, of course, if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead, press the subscribe button, and let's get to work. Now, the obvious answer is we don't necessarily need to overcomplicate things because it's obvious. Use the new credit card to pay for the expense and then you'll get the reward, right? Not the hardest thing in the world. However, uh, I own two houses, soon to be three. Many of you own homes as well. So these are more so just some things I've learned to help strategize with that. But yes, the, the intro answer is obvious. We don't need to belabor the point. Um, so, you know, how this topic came up, I said an expensive 2023 trying to keep my house up to up to date and up to code. I uh, saw so two of them are rentals, and again, I'm, I think I'm hopefully going to get a third house pretty soon here. Um, but uh, you know, you can look at that that furnace died at the beginning of the year. That was I think eight grand. There was a leak behind the wall in the bathroom. That was two grand. The garage roof was five. Garage door was four grand. Um, and I could go on and on and on, as many as you could as well, but no one's here to hear me complain. Just all that to say, this is where, you know, these these tips and things have come from. So before you get fully started again, especially for your newer homeowners out there, you know, I would say you know, the, the, a lot of it depends on like the, the person you're bringing over to do the work. There's, there's definitely a few tiers uh, and it matters because how they are going to accept payment. So on the base level, you have, I say, just a guy. So an example of just a guy is in this neighborhood, there's a guy who goes around and he cleans gutters. He's a dude with an F-150 and a ladder and a few, you know, cleaning tools, a leaf blower to get him out a little spade, that whole thing, right? He's just a guy like me, how I talk on the internet on the side. He cleans uh, roofs and gutters on the side. He's not taking credit cards. Could he? Sure. He could go get a business account and open up payment processing, but he's not really what he's trying to do, right? That guy's cash or he's Venmo. I don't even know if he'd take a check, really. Checks aren't really what they used to be. So your next tier up is kind of like your... I'm a guy, but I might be maybe a general contractor, have my own small shop, you know, things like that. They may or may not take credit card, but one, they're not, they usually, historically, they aren't super technically advanced. And uh, if they do take cards, I get a plumber come over, small shop, they're like, it's 4% processing fee. Well, probably just don't take cards. I'm like, is it really 4%? But you can see, you really have to be hitting an intro offer or something to use to go after, you know, to pay the 4%. Anything else, just get cash, which is what they want. And then you have your next tier up, which is like regional or national chains. And these are places that they're like, we're just here to make money and keep it moving. We don't, yes, we take credit cards. Let's just move it, keep it moving, right? Pretty simple. So that's the first real point is, does it make sense to pay with a credit card? Um, it's always worth asking, what's the cash price? Everyone generally knows what that means. I've only had one person get offended. They were a floor installer, a carpet place of all, of all places. I was like, so what's the cash price? Like, oh, the price is the price. All right, bud, settle down. You know what I'm asking you. You can definitely get discounts. Um, Again, not with the national guys, the big chains, but like the first two guys, uh, you know, if you're like, hey, I'm just cash. Well, probably the middle guy, right? I'm just cash, right? Okay. And, you know, then you figure out do they mean actual cash or not. Again, just make sure to get that documented that you paid. And then what they do, how they write it up on their end is, is up to them. So that, we'll just mention that. Now, the other things here in no particular order uh, that I've noticed, um, the one thing I started trying to do is you know, pay with, maybe you want to pay with two different credit cards, right? So assuming they can take credit card, how it generally works is, you know, maybe there'll be a sales guy or an installer who comes out to your house to do the work. Um, they can take payments in the field, as they call it. But those guys, like if you want to pay with credit card or you want to try to do something fancy, like pay with two credit cards, like maybe you're finishing up a bonus over here and then you want to put the rest on this card, definitely ask them not too soon in the process, but there'll be a sp spot where like usually they show you the work and they're like, okay, I'm going to go to my truck and write it up. But, like that would be the time to ask them. Don't be surprised if they don't take two payments, split payment is what it's called. I don't know why they can't or claim that they can't. Uh, some people can. I'm not saying they all can't. But uh, what I've been told sometimes is if you want to pay do split payment, well, you got to call the back office or you got to go in store depending on you know who you're dealing with, right? So just be prepared for that, which is could definitely be an option. I'd be saying, well, hey, I'll just take it up with the back office. I have the phone number. They say, sure, I'll send the bill over there. Like that's that's entirely possible. I've done that before. 
Um, but another thing here that I've done for fun is gift cards as well. Because even if you're not trying to hit an intro offer, maybe you want to go take your category cards and load up on Home Depot gift cards. I'll say Best Buy gift cards if you're buying appliances or what have you, um, you know, at 5%. Uh, so those guys who come out to do the measuring and the quoting will take your payment. But I've been told, and I called Home Depot recently to ask them um, and they're like well no the person coming out cannot do split payment again I don't know why they couldn't but whatever fine but if you want to come to the store we can do split payment and I was like well how many gift cards can I pay with they like Home Depot is like you can pay with 10 gift cards uh, gift card goes up to $500 when you buy them at, at any location so that's good. So if you're going to do the gift card play, just ask first so you don't end up with a ton of Home Depot gift cards, um, you know, because that would be bad. And there's nothing wrong with saying, yes, I'm going to go through with it. Can you send it to this specific store? Um, you know, the, the quote, and then I will just go there and pay. And that's fine. That could be worth your time as well. Um, Best Buy the same way. I think if you're doing appliances, uh, you know, you might want to do bunch of gift cards online i think you can do like up to 10 in store i think is 10 as well of course you can always just split it up into different orders too if you had to i mean i hope you don't spend that much money but if you, if you have to you can split it into different orders and usually if you try to tell them what to do they will help you um the back office is usually the easiest place again to make multiple payments or messing around with your credit card because those people aren't trying to get to the next job the guy at the house is trying to get to the next job that's why you always get that super long window will be here between 8 a.m and 8 p.m right which is always annoying so the back office they will definitely do that you're like hey i'd like to pay with two cards i've never done three i imagine they would but um you know i've never done that i've always i've done two before and then another thing is you're going to be a reoccurring service with people um, just make sure that, you know, you confirm which card they're going to use. Because a lot of times it's like, hey, can I use the card that we charged last time? It may be fine. It might not. And usually in my case, I want to switch cards. Uh, so just keep that in mind as well. Um, another thing that I found interesting was, I, you know, back to the cash is cash thing. Some companies, and these are regional chains, uh, my friend was getting Windows. She was like, which card could I use? Because we found out that, I think it was Wallside Windows. Wallside Windows says you pay this price if you pay in cash and a different price if you take our financing. The financing price was higher for some reason but you got a cash discount. But what Wallside really meant was by taking cash is that you just don't take our financing and we consider that cash, which is crazy. I would not have considered that cash. Well, yeah, you can totally pay with a credit card because um, it's, it's not taking our finance and that's cash. So you should always want to clarify what they mean by paying cash. I don't think that'll be too common of an issue, but it, it was a neat little find uh, for me, at least, um, for her, I really, I haven't bought Windows yet, thankfully. Um, so other things here, they kind of stand out to me. Getting the card, uh, you know, because a lot of my stuff was like home repairs and things break when they break. They don't break on your schedule. So it's helpful to know that Chase was always a favorite of mine when I was under 524 for ink cards. Because You could do personal as well, but generally I do business cards because they have the loftier spend goals. And this stuff is, as we noted in the beginning, pretty expensive. Um... Chase will overnight you a card. Well, not overnight, but they'll do two-day shipping on a card. So if you phone them up as soon as you apply and get approved, because you have to do it quick, because if you wait, then the, the normal process is going to take over, and they'll mail it out by USPS. But you can call in and say, hey, can I get this expedited shipping? Chase has done it for me. American Express has done it for me. U.S. Bank is very difficult. They didn't. Um, you know, uh, Bank of America, I think, will charge you for it. So keep that in mind as well. That's definitely dictated the card I got because I was like, I need it now, um, especially with rental. I mean, if it's your house, you can wait. Maybe you can, you know, it's your choice. But if it's like a rental, like I can't keep a per person living in the cold because the furnace broken. I just want to hit a credit card bonus, right? That's not, that's not the right thing to do. Virtual cards potentially, but again, virtual cards are going to be a little bit harder because. Uh, some places do send you a link to pay um, that you could enter in the virtual card information. It's possible that you can jot down the virtual card numbers and pay that way. But again, it's going to be a little bit tougher because you just don't know the tech capabilities of every single place. But some places do offer virtual cards. Uh, so there's that. Um, credit limit moving, swapping has also been helpful to me. Again, back to Chase. You know, I got approved for ink cards, but they usually typically only give me three, four grand. Well, that furnace was eight grand, but I had an additional ink card already. So I can just transfer credit limit to the new one, and I can do that as soon as I'm approved. Now, of course, we have a whole video on moving credit limits, but 
you know, generally it's business to business and personal to personal, but US Bank would not let me transfer credit limit for between business cards, which was annoying, but that, you know, it's just something helpful to know if you're in a jam and trying to pick up a card. Of course, you can do multiple payments, you know, they're probably, they might get annoyed with you, especially generally you put like three uh 30 percent down or something and then you pay the rest later or half down you know if you don't have enough to cover half on one card you're like hey i gotta pay you then pay it off and come back later uh or call you and do it later they probably still do it they think you're a little weird uh, but they probably still do it it's just cleaner if you could just you know get the work going immediately that's also come in handy for me as well uh, but really those are kind of the tricks the things that i've learned over time being able to use credit cards to do these these type of repairs i mean the good news is that they're taking cards again it doesn't have to be for an intro offer it can be you know just for you know just earning regular points on a two percent card you know, I would say Home Depot and Lowe's do have credit cards of their own. Those aren't the highest multipliers on those cards. Those cards are generally, like, hey, we give you a multiplier, then we have some kind of financing benefits usually. Uh, so I prefer to go with the gift card route and get 5% back. Um, you could also look at some category cards and do offer... Uh, home improvement as a category. So my Bank of America customized cash rewards card, the Susan G. Komen card, basically the same thing, do offer five or it's 3% back. I'm platinum honor. So it's five and a quarter back on home improvement up to $2,500, you know, in a uh, quarter. And the good news about home, Bank of America cards, for example, is you can actually change the category like mid cycle, I think. Um, so uh, sometimes I'll do that. If I don't want to do a bunch of uh, gift cards, I'll just swap into home improvement. Um, I think my Huntington Business Voice has home improvement as an option as well, 4% back on a category of you're choosing up to seven grand in spend. So you could also look at cards like that as well that'll give you a little bit. Again, you know, five and a quarter is not at 2,500 isn't going to pay for any of the things that I had just had happen, but you know, it helps. And then, you know, you do have to be careful about how those places code uh, the MCC number that gets reported to the issuer to decide the multiplier. You know, something like Home Depot and Lowe's should be a layup. If it's, again, if it's a mom and pop deal, but they do take credit card, I think it's a toss up there. I'm probably not even going to know what you mean by MCC code. Um, so it's just kind of a toss up there. But those are some other options I've used as well, especially if I can't get to a new credit card in time. Like, hey, well, can let me put $2,500 down on this card or something, or let me go, you know, something like that has worked, and then I'll have the credit card for the larger expense as well. Um, so all that to say, you know, it's been a very, uh, well, it's been very costly uh, for sure, but, uh, you know, it's been, we've tried to balance it out as much as we could by earning credit card offers. So this is a definitely a strategy that comes in handy. And again, you're you're you might be doing an addition or something cool to your house, so it doesn't have to be all doom and gloom. Mine just wasn't that fun. But again, credit cards make everything fun. So, anyways, guys, those are just some tips and tricks that I've learned over the past years uh, keeping a house up to date. But of course, let me know what you've done in the past. What are cool additions have you built to your house as well? Love to hear your thoughts on that. But anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this one. So of course, if you liked it, drop me a thumbs up down below. If you found it particularly interesting, consider subscribing to the channel. We're posting content just like this every single week, and just back right back here every. Sunday with all the news you can use in the week that was in credit and finance. And of course, every single day over on ProfitableContent.com, the channel's blog, we have the latest news stories, we have bank promotions, and wouldn't you know, we have credit card offers. So if you need a cool upgrade or a fix, uh, maybe check some of those out in the back catalog. Hopefully you can earn a few bucks in the process. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this one. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you very soon in the next one.